brief message from your friendly neighborhood editing Jordan. We tend to try to keep things pretty PG-13 around here, but this is an improv podcast. So who knows what we're going to say. Sometimes we throw in some swearing, some sexual content, and some violence. So as a general warning, viewer discretion is advised. Also to be noted, the opinions stated about a certain tabletop role-playing game are just that, our opinions. We love the game and we like talking about it. So any criticisms are really just all in good fun. That being said, wizards, please hire us. All right, with that out of the way, let's get on with the show. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh my god, I actually am huffing Sharpie. That's really strong. Why'd you stop? They can't all right. see that. They can't all right, see that. that, yep. You could have just I think we should that. just make that the opening for every video ever <laughs> from now on. He's not yeah. intentionally huffing Sharpie. My Sorry, it just hit me all at once. Fumes, or perhaps gasoline. Oh my god, rubber cement, I've learned, is the worst. Especially if it's mixed with coffee grounds, but just straight is like a close second. What do you mean worse? I like, think... in terms of smell and headache. I think that Wizards of the Coast was huffing paint when they made the 2024 <laughs> PHP classes. Specifically paint thinner. Yes. Yeah. Um, as oh, no. you all know and have come to love, we've been going through every class. And finally, you can breathe a sigh of relief because today is the final one. Although it's we do over. have more D&D stuff after this, but it's just not classes, so it'll be no, a little bit different. No, this is the last one. We're yeah. never uh, doing this again. going to be the worst one. We're <laughs> yeah, we're, we're retiring after this one. We've said everything <laughs> we've needed to say. Mm -hmm. No more D&D content. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Tim's well, yeah. graduation. <laughs> wow. Bye, VTuber. What? You don't seem very excited. No. I said graduation, not termination. <laughs> oh thanks that's so much better yeah it it usually is yeah it True. don't even get me started on what's going on between brave and idle right now I, anyways no. i saw that with the ren tenros thing anyways um <laughs> to to bring it back to D D. bard which is we're like on, a vtuber but in we're D &D. on bards <laughs> no vtuber chat that's for off podcast or when we have our inevitable VTuber oh, episode. We really um, haven't done one of those yet, have we? Surprisingly. Sur I'm very shocked, honestly. I think I mentioned it at one point, like in the past, and I think it got shot down very quickly. Um, back when we used to still talk about what we were going to do for episodes before doing them. But, <laughs> but now we just kind of do them uh, as they come to us. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. We're here to read off to you, lovely people, the Bard, the 2024 PHB Bard, and tell you if it's good or if it's bad or if it's somewhere in the middle. We are the Because we've had a little bit of all of those things in this 2024 PHB. We've been traumatized. It's been pretty bad towards worse. the end. Mm -hmm. I Monk was good. Monk was very good. It was yeah. it was I, good. It was better in the beginning. There were some very nice things in the beginning. And then as we continued on through, it kind of just got worse and worse with a slight bump in the road, which was Monk. We ran over Monk with the back wheels of the car. Yeah. Both of them. That brought us back up just a little bit before. Actually, you know, it kind of made things worse because Monk brought us back up. We were going up again, only to immediately plunge lower than the stuff that came the, before monk it's the yeah. meme graph it's the bros and then we're, we're back. so back it's, it's over. so over we're so back we're it's so, so back over. it's so <laughs> over and now we're in bros territory bros <laughs> we're back in bros oh <laughs> uh, well we uh Jordan, Bard, go, read. Yeah, I was about to say, the only person in here who I can think has played a Bard before on a technicality <laughs> has been Jordan. I so, did play him 1 to 20. It was a campaign that we played. He wasn't a real Bard, though. Um, <laughs> no, he was not. <laughs> but that you, you have the most qualifications out of all of us who are extremely unqualified. So go ahead. Hit us with it. Level all right. 1. Bardic Inspiration, level 1. Bardic Inspiration is the driving force behind the Bard class, and the 2024 Player's Handbook has made using this feature more appealing and inviting. 
2014 bard might give an ally bardic inspiration and they may not get a chance to use it in the next 10 minutes. Alternatively, they may use it on a d20 test, still stupid. Uh, they would have already succeeded on wasting the bardic die. Now with the 2024 bard, your bardic inspiration lasts for a full hour, so if your allies don't use it in combat, they may still be able to use it on another d20 test afterwards, such as during a dungeon crawl. The truly impactful change, though, is that the 2024 Player's Handbook, a creature who has a bardic die doesn't have to roll it until after they fail a d20 test, so now they can hoard it until they know it has a chance of actually turning a failure into a success. Has anybody actually played... I don't remember how we use Bardic Inspiration, but I do we actually wait until people fail or I feel like we've played it where you can just tack it on at the end. We've used it so sparingly that I don't I'm going to be honest. <clears throat> I don't think our group has ever used it outside of combat. Sure. No, and I honestly, I don't think that most people use it outside of combat because people usually only play Valor Bards. Especially yep. in And if you have a cleric or paladin or druid or anyone who can cast bless, usually that's the go to for yeah. the outside of combat buff is just giving someone a blessing real quick. Or before guidance. They roll something. Or guidance. That's right. It's I'm thinking of guidance, not bless. That's bless right. is also really good though, because especially you can get more than one person with bless. Mm. Yeah. So We've had a yeah, very no, I... unique bard in uh, uh, history, I should say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So no, we um can't really speak much to our experience with it. Yeah, <clears throat> pretty run of the mill combat bard. Um, but I mean, a buff is a buff. So mm -hmm. I don't think I needed a buff. Well, I do certainly think this encourages using it more outside of combat. Yeah. One of my biggest is... problems with the Bard is that it was too... Bardic Inspiration was not essential to the class. No. Mm -mm. It was a fun little feature, but you could operate just as well by just being a one to nine... Or a first to ninth level caster. You know what I mean? A spell, yeah. first to ninth level spell caster. And you didn't need the Inspiration. That didn't matter. Yeah. That was a and... nice little boost. But hopefully this will make it more useful. I have read ahead a little bit. That did not change. So, well, unsurprisingly. Well, let, let me finish this description because they said they changed some of the wording too. A big change mm -hmm. delivered in a small number of words is the shift in who can receive your bardic dice. With the 2014 version of Bardic Inspiration, a creature had to be able to hear you. In the 2024 rules, they can hear or see you. This is a big shift in flavor representation of bards. The class used to feel like it was largely for musicians, with other types of performers waiting in the wings to fill the ensemble. But this shift in the language should encourage you and you should encourage you to follow your own bardic inspirations even if you can't carry a tune. Despite the crappy language, this is the change that we've been asking for to diversify the type of art present in the bard class. True. Mm -hmm. And it still progresses the same. I'm not gonna read off. No. <laughs> I mean <clears throat> it, it is a nice change, but also <laughs> That's something that you could have just already, like, as a DM, just been like, oh, yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Like, at the table. It's a very semantic-y ruling of, like, if you're, if, for instance, one of you wanted to play a bard who's, like, a dancing bard, I very, I very obviously would have been like, yeah, no, they don't have to hear you. No, they you just can have just to see never you. use your bardic they... inspiration. <laughs> No, you can use it, but they just have to hear your like feet pitter patters, or else yeah, they have to hear your a shuffling. Tap dancer, yeah, tap dance uh, bard. Ooh. Well, then dance. they have to hear and see you, and if they can't oh. do one or the other, they don't get it. <laughs> there goes that idea, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> you would never be able to stealth as a tap dance bard. Nope. That'd be so funny. <laughs> All right, really Taryn. Funny. <laughs> read level two for us both okay of them. uh expertise uh one of the prime appeals of playing a bard is their extreme competence okay uh the combination of jack of all trades and expertise uh both being bestowed at level two now means that your 2024 bard is leaning into their skill versatility earlier in the career you also get expertise for two additional skill proficiencies at level nine instead of ten 
Okay. You already get half proficiency on everything. Why do you also need additional expertise? Produce it. Yeah. Could you remind me what group of classes they had barred under? Specialist. They did? Same okay. as ranger and rogue. Okay. They're not a, a specialist, though. They're a Literally, the phrase jack of all trades means you're they're, not they're, a specialist. They're a generalist, not a specialist. That's not even the point I was trying to make, but that is a good point. Um, one of two things needs to happen here. Mm. And Bard Maxers aren't going to like what I'm about to say, but it's oh, no. just true. Uh-oh. Either you don't get your funny little skills or you don't get your funny little spells. One or the other, pick them. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be because... With you be with the bard being a ninth level spellcaster, they can just do the exact same thing that the Pertusit's been complaining about with the monk, but even better. Because with the access to magic, they can do anything. Especially since they have half proficiency in anything. They can do stealth, they can be a tank, they can do lock picking, they can get any tool proficiency they want, <clears throat> they can be the party caster, they can <clears throat> they don't they What's the point in playing <laughs> anything else? What's the point? That's what I've been done saying. <laughs> like, oh, it just gets worse. Why would you ever play? And there are going to be people who are going to be like, oh, yeah, but you have to pick a niche. But that's the thing is if you can pick any niche as a bard, sure, you're not going to be filling every role. But the point of having different classes is they're supposed to fill certain roles. And so when you have one class that just does everything or can do everything, if you build them in certain ways, they will fulfill any role. Then what's the point of having any other class for any reason? Yeah. Yeah. But real. No, I agree. The The addition of skill monkey to the already one to nine level caster, it's not balanced and it's not fun. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The only thing bards can't do very well is melee, because they have a d8 hit die, still better than sorcerer and wizard, and I don't think they get high, I don't think they get um, heavy armor proficiency, um, and they don't get extra attack, but then that's where you get College of Valor, which does get extra attack. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was gonna yeah. say our bard was the tank last game. <laughs> it gets extra attack plus bardic inspiration to AC whenever you need it. Mm-hmm. Or plus, as many times as you can. Yeah. Plus, you can also, if they kept it in 2024, you also get Defensive Duelist, which most bards are going to be using. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, turn. The other level two feature. <clears throat> oh, Holy yeah. Uh, Song of Rest. There is no more Song of Rest. That's. <laughs> that, there that is, is no Queen of England. Yeah, uh... they've been nerfed. They've been gutted. The bard oh is literally God. unplayable. My class feature. Good. It's gone. <laughs> if I, I had it my way, there never would have been a bard class. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> no, I, I, am, I am not sure that I have heard anybody actually ever using Song of Rest. Well, here's the funny mm -hmm. thing: is at one point in our campaign, we actually very I specifically and a few other people could have benefited from Song of Rest from our bard who forgot to, that they had that feature and didn't use it. Yeah, because every our single two bard bards that, at one point, <laughs> or every bard ever forgets that they have Song of Rest. Oh no, this was way the later in the game. This was this was when we only had one bard. Oh, and, and okay. still, it was forgotten. I, I <laughs> oh do my want gosh. to just go back to a point that was made earlier. Valor Bards don't get defensive duelist even as a thing in 2014. I think you were well, just confusing no, the that. the feet. Oh, well, yeah. He's saying people take the feet. Oh, well, yeah. Yes. yeah no, I thought that, that's, you were just saying that they just straight up got that. <laughs> no. Class feature. No. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's where my confusion came from. Yeah. Never mind. We'll okay. get... All right. Let's but talk. yeah, no. Um very unused ability. Yeah, yeah. Very underused ability. Song of rest. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that good. 
No. Uh, I still think the best avenue for Bard was to pursue what they do with the one from Darkest Dungeon. What's he called in that? He's not called Bard, right? Oh, I know who you're Jester? talking about. Is it Jester? Is he the Yeah, he's the music one. Yep. Yeah. Um and I think Song of Rest would have been fine, and instead he just should have had more songs and been a half level caster, and then you could have had like Song of Alacrity, Song of Offense, Song of Defense mm -hmm. that you could use. But that would be dumb. So anyway. That would be dumb and on. bad and stupid, and we hate you. And <laughs> song implies they're a musician one. So screw you and yeah. your mother. Go home. Now then. Yep. Bard subclasses. Let's read on these, shall we? As per usual, four subclasses, which you get at level three. That's unchanged for the most part. I'm pretty sure they still got theirs at level three anyway. Yeah. Um, it says, most of the Bard colleges are mostly unchanged with just a few quality of life improvements. Brand new one, College of Dance. Brand new Bard subclass focuses the Bard's power over the magic of creation into a physical art form. Dance. College of Dance Bards gain boosts to their defenses when not wearing armor and use their Bardic Inspiration to fuel powerful unarmed strikes. Welcome Mugbar. back to the world. No, it's it's mm -hmm. welcome back to the world. Blade Singer is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. yeah it, it is just monk, but better because they can also cast spells. So it's Blade but they, Singer. But with Terran, but Terran, they don't get to use key special key points. Oh, but points, they have proficiency in everything. They don't get their key points though. Focus they points. Expertise. They don't. They that it is focus monks, points now. Monks fill Opinion a different invalid. Monks <laughs> monks fill a different niche, Taryn. Monks fill a different niche. Yeah, it's not like they both have uh. D8 hit die. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you're Next right. One. You're right. College of Glamour. I like the Glamour one. I didn't think it was very good, but I like that it's related to the Fey. Mm -hmm. Me too. Um, the Fey Wild infused magic of this part subclass replaces the 2014 enthralling performance with Beguiling Magic, which adds Charm Person and Mirror Image to your prepared spell list and gives you a chance to bestow the Charm to Frighten effect on a creature that you see that sees you cast an enchantment or illusion spell within 60 feet. That's awful That's cool. niche, but... It's interesting. Yeah. The very it probably is interesting a saving flavor. throw. Does it mean a, sp a leveled spell or a cantrip would work? Doesn't matter. It Bard's got full spell casting. Uh, it, it says spell, so I'm assuming it's leveled. Yeah, well, like I said, it doesn't matter because bards get a ton of spells at the higher levels anyway, same as like a wizard. Mm -hmm. At least prepared spells, not spells known. Anyway, um, College of Lore. I like this one because you can use your bardic inspiration against somebody. Lore. When these studious bards use bardic inspiration to activate cutting words, your role is no longer impacted by whether the creature can hear you or if they're immune to being charmed. Is that is that the only change? They I haven't guess. made very many changes to any of the bard subclasses. It said that yeah. everything was mostly unchanged in the subclass department. It's already perfect. College Except of for Valor. quality of life. Yeah. These skulls can now use a simple or martial weapon as a spellcasting focus. I don't believe they could do either before. In addition, when a College of Valor bard gets an extra attack at level 6, you can now cast a cantrip that has a casting time of an action in place of one of those attacks. Sure. Okay. I guess Why that means... I even try? Yeah. Yeah. What's what's the point? What's <laughs> there is I don't want to be around anymore. <laughs> Aren't those also like uh cannibalizing each other, College of Dance and College of Valor? A little bit. Yeah. I mean I guess <laughs> one's unarmed strikes, but otherwise they're both melee barred. Mm -hmm. They're what's... both melee barred. Although I suppose Valor's thing is they wear armor and Dance's thing is they don't wear armor. Yeah. Monk versus fighter. I don't, I don't get the fantasy appeal of having both of those out of four for the PA. They just really wanted to make dance a thing yeah. in the 2024 one. And they couldn't bear to get rid of Valor. No. <laughs> yeah. mm -mm. Okay, well. Well, I think if they got rid of Valor, they might have actually, like, gotten a mob yeah. burning down their yeah, headquarters. Yeah, people would be real Which maybe, <laughs> maybe that's what finally is needed. Maybe I have to use the stones to destroy the stones yeah. and I have to egg on the bard stands mm -hmm. to annihilate Wizards of the Coast yes. for their bad decisions. The Salt the paladins earth. weren't strong enough. Helter Skelter. The paladins weren't strong enough. They saw they had one little change to their class and they all cried about it for a month and then they gave up. Mm-hmm. 
Like, just like paladins do. Oh, wait. And nobody That's... plays ranger, so nobody was mad about That's... the changes. Yeah, Yeah. no, uh, resident ranger was not mad it's about not the ranger. He he pretty quickly rolled over and took that. I think, so, I think like... that's that. What's that thing we talked about with Taryn before? It's the learned helplessness. What? <laughs> Thanks. Sorry, Taryn. So you who were can there, I turn you? to in these trying <laughs> yeah. times for real, true anger? The bards at anything bards. directed at their class. The bards. The <laughs> or BTS stands. Either one of those. Or work. BTS stands. Mm -hmm. Feel like there's a little bit of overlap BTS though. On the phone. Yeah. Looking at you, TJ. Okay. Uh, Levo, you want to read the next one? It's a big one. I just want to read my plot of inspiration. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Level five. You get the feature font of inspiration. Font of Inspiration has always turned up the volume on Bardic Inspiration by restoring expended uses after completing a short rest in addition to a long rest. The 2024 Bard accompanies that with another additional way for Bards to recover expended Bardic dice. Once you reach level 5, you can expend a spell slot to regain a use of Bardic Inspiration. This does not cost an action, so you can choose to use it when you want to expend the Bardic dice. This new detail is a single sentence in the 2024 Player's Handbook, but it has a big impact. Bardic Inspiration has always been the backbone of the Bard build, but the limited number of uses meant that a Bard player would have to be sparse with their Bardic dice in between rests. Now players have a lot more freedom to decide how they want to go about their business. If you want to focus on casting spells, you can. But if you built a bard based around the functions of bardic inspiration, such as a college of dance bard who uses your bardic inspiration to fuel your features, you can choose to sacrifice spell slots to give yourself more access to those abilities. The combination of this new font of inspiration with bardic inspiration dice now being expended after the roll fails to encourage bard players... Oh, excuse me. After the roll fails, encourages bard players to use rather than hoard their bardic dice. Okay. Yeah, I absolutely built my bard build around bardic inspiration. That's definitely something that happens. I refer to my previous statement. <laughs> um, we wouldn't have this problem, wizards, if you just got rid of their spells and gave them bardic dice proportionately to how other spellcasting classes get spell slots. Mm -hmm. Much like how monks get key points. Focus points. It would be dope if they just did. Or do so... like the ranger and paladin thing. Make it make the class feature now a spell for some reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bardic inspiration, first level spell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Me, whenever crazy. I counter spell the Bardic inspiration. Oh, it would yes. be so funny, wizards! You could do the funniest thing Please. right now and completely redeem yourself Please. in my eyes. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Why would they do that? Paladin and Ranger were obviously a problem. Or uh, yeah. Bard has never been a problem, though. Uh, also, I just want to say, uh, they have Font of Inspiration. What, what, is that what it's called? Font of Inspiration? Yeah. Yes. Uh, free action. Anytime you want. Restore Bardic Die. Soccer. Second level feature. Font of Magic. Use Sorcery Points. Restore Spell Slot. Cost Bonus Action. Hmm. That's mm -hmm. because the bard is God's favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I I do not think it should be a free action. I mean, yes, it's a fine feature, but it should not be a free action. No. That's really stupid. Make it a bonus action. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as if if you don't want something to be a full action, if you want someone to be able to do it on their turn, mm. but still have their action, make it a bonus action. That's the reason the bonus action exists. It's for little things that aren't as big as like an attack or Honestly, spell. I think it should be an action. Because yeah. Bardic Inspiration is a bonus action. Ah. So, oh, so you it's... Do okay. Good point. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that tracks. And it gives you the difficult choice of being like, well, do I want to do a Bardic Inspiration, but also have to give out on using my action this turn? Mm -hmm. Or do I want to use my action, but be unable to use Bardic Inspiration? Mm-hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> I still stand by that it should be like focus points, but... Yeah, there's a there's a lot this this class should be, but it's none of those. Anyway, yep. We're gonna talk about our favorite feature. Charm. Oh my god, my favorite Counter Charm, Counter -charm level seven. Uh, Counter Charm has moved from six to seven for the 2024 Bard, but the upgrade and okay. what the feature does is well worth the wait. Quit lying to me. <laughs> 
The 2014 Bard's counter charm took an action and would last until their next turn, granting advantage to allies on their saving throws against being frightened or charmed. So you had to really hope an enemy tried to frighten or charm your party to feel like it was worth activating this feature instead of attacking or casting a spell. The 2024 okay. Bard's counter charm has a, is a reaction, and you don't have to use it until after you or your ally fails their saving throw against an effect that applies the, the frightened or charm condition. Your ally then gets to re-roll their save with advantage. This means with your counter charm, your allies now have up to three chances to succeed on their save against being charmed or frightened. Plus, this feature doesn't have a limited number of uses, so it can be used each round when you or one of your party members are being taken and are being talked into joining a vampire's cult. Fine. I would, honestly, for the feature that is counter charm, a well needed buff. Mm -hmm. I really like, like stillness of mind, guys. It's a really good feature. Real. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not very strong. It's honestly perfect. If the rest of the class was this strong, it'd be perfect. Mm -hmm. But it's not. This is by far the weakest part of Bard because the rest of it is god tier. This is a yeah. B rank. Everything else is triple S rank. <laughs> uh, this yeah, should be uh, where the baseline is. Uh -huh. All right. Next up, the the real kicker oh god. of the class. Magical it got secrets. buffed! It got buffed. No! Just what it needed. <laughs> yeah. I'm the so, jungler, baby. Instead of getting three chances to access another class's spell list at fixed level intervals, Magical Secrets now lets you select spells from the Cleric, Bard, uh, no, the Cleric, Druid, or Wizard spell list mm -hmm. every time you can add to your prepared spell list and have them count as Bard spells. Well, uh, no Paladin Divine Smite. No so reason to be a wizard anymore. You get access. You get the wizard spell list. Yeah. You, you get access to every single spell in the game, other than warlock and sorcerer exclusives, and paladin and ranger. No Does hundred sorcerer just use the wizard list? Does it? I'm not sure. I can't. But remember it has what the new one it has like ninety percent of the spells in the entire game available to them for the yeah. entire last half of their class progression. Pretty much the only things it's going to miss out on are Warlock exclusive spells because Clerica and Druid have massive overlap with both each other and Paladin and Ranger. Mm -hmm. And Wizard is just everything else. It mm -hmm. No Divine Smite, though. Or Hunter's Mark. Oh, I'm so sad my bard can't get Hunter's Mark. Why do I even My try? build is ruined. I... I'm. This is stupid. Why do I even try, man? This Why? is dumb. It's the worst possible change that they could have made. This also makes uh, them a better cleric, a better healer. Yes. <laughs> Why play? What? Why play a cleric? Why play a wizard? There is an answer to why play a druid, and it's for wild shape. But that mm -hmm. is nah. I mean, anyways, especially taking into account wizards still do not have class features. Nope. They did not get them in 2024. It's usually it was fine in 2014 that they didn't have class features because they had the all the spells, all the spells, and bards. Even though it was still bullshit in 2014, they still they had, only got it a little. They only bit. got three spells from that spell list. Now they can just get all of it. They all they, of it. they can they can just replace their entire spell list. With all of it. Yep. Okay, point of order and and question. How does one go about learning druid spells? Because in my mind, I also have a problem with cleric, but in my mind, I feel like the way that druid magic is described, it is similar to that of sorcerer, where it's inherent and not something that you learn necessarily like wizards do or like bards do so why do you get access to druid spells well or you know sometimes spells, but you know sometimes that leg just be too stanky real so true. real um but actual answer though one one thing it does depend on uh setting on how druids yeah. druid is probably like the least well defined on how they get their magic out of all the casters because i know in some settings it is like druids exist in like 
covens Mm -hmm. and they do train other druids to become druids um and then in some settings it is just like they're like dryad druids where like they are Mm -hmm. beings of nature um but still regardless yeah no yeah I, i think your point's still valid besides the fact like i can understand i can despite hating it i can understand bards getting wizard spell list because yeah. like wizards they supposedly go to school mm-hmm. clerics you're supposed to get those spells because you're an immensely faithful person and druids you're supposed to get those spells because like you have this innate connection to nature and so those things channel magic through you so i yeah. guess bards are just perfect flower child 70s christians who also <laughs> went to college god's mm-hmm. perfect idiot yes um <laughs> well i'll tell you what here's my reasoning for why this feature works and how it could possibly get things from all these different spell lists uh it doesn't it won't and it shouldn't <laughs> agreed mm-hmm. it well, doesn't like this even... whole feature is dumb mm-hmm. yeah. even with the like witch type druids i I don't know. Maybe I'm just misconstruing the actual flavor of druids, but I feel like in that scenario, it's still not something that would necessarily be like written oh, down yeah, on no. spell scroll for you to learn. Like it was taught and you did study. No, I com- I completely way. agree with you. Yeah, no, you <laughs> d- <laughs> it it is ridiculous, and yeah. I I genuinely even though we're gonna have like 15 people watch this podcast episode, I challenge you, people of the internet to give a rounded definition as to how all three of these spell lists make sense for the bard to have. All three together. It cannot be, well, here's how this one and this one make sense. All three of them. Because I don't think think you can without pulling out some major cope to do it. See, for me, to even argue a single one of these makes sense is to argue against a flat earther. You, this is an <laughs> argument in bad faith against somebody that believes in something that shouldn't exist, <laughs> is what it is uh... from the get go. Because magical secrets is an awful feature. And you know yes. what's crazy? It wouldn't be that awful of a feature if they were a half caster. I wouldn't True. care if they only got up to fifth level spells, because then it doesn't matter because cleric, druid, and wizard all get up to ninth level. And it doesn't matter. First, druids shouldn't even get spells in the first place. We talked about that before. Druids either need to be half casters as well and focus more on their wild shape or not. But anyway, that aside, bards also suck and are stupid and I hate them and I'm killing them in real life. Well, it's, I'm sorry. I feel like it's kind of what I like what I was saying earlier when we were talking about um, having differing spells relevant to class features based on your sub with the cleric thing where like I think you should have access to spells that are not traditionally cleric spells based on the subclass you get for your prepared spells. I feel like it's a similar deal to that if in an ideal world. You're a half caster, your subclass grants you different prepared spells that are not of your spell list, but also just the feature of the class. You can dip, but it doesn't work if you're full caster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, I mean, we've been harping on it, but like a good way to fix this would be just rebuild the bard and have it have special bard spells that are interesting and cool yeah. So that you don't have to rob the other classes to sure. get cool spells for your bard. It still make... doesn't even make sense to me to have a feature called Magical Secrets either. Because, like, what? They play make music, therefore they can do Bard this. spells. Well, no, they don't just play music anymore, Pertusa. True. They make they art, dance. therefore they can understand other spells. It's Magical Secrets because they can do art, huh? Yeah. If you tap dance huh? hard enough, you unlock the... <laughs> The secrets of the universe. Yeah, I think I'm almost certain we've either said this on this podcast or just said ourselves before. This feature makes sense for a sorcerer. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not a bard. Uh, <laughs> Not a bard. It's like it's like the sorcerer and bard stuff needs to be swapped because the sorcerer, for some reason, they really are buckling down on like sorcerer being a unique spellcaster that's untethered from the other spellcasters when it literally needs to be like i'm the special snowflake that takes things from others because my magic is innate and i was born with it Mm -hmm. and bard needs to be the one who's unique and different (laughs) they need focus points (laughs) they need Uh, bard points okay 
that's enough about that i feel like point is wait we didn't even read super inspiration that's what i'm doing (laughs) (laughs) i thought you were just saying that was enough about bard it is which the crux of the worst of the bard is in fact magical secrets but yeah true next up and it's superior inspiration. But I like super, super paper inspiration. Um, <laughs> I was just so incensed with magical secrets. Yeah. <laughs> you got a little blind there. <laughs> yes. Superior inspiration super paper. moves from level 20 to 18 and gets a boost. Boost. The 2014 superior inspiration restored one use of bardic inspiration if your pool was depleted when you rolled initiative. We remember it was dog water. Wow. The 24 version of superior inspiration will restore you to two. Uses of Bardic Inspiration if your current pool is at less than that. So if you have one use, you'll get an extra. But if you have none, you'll get two. Wow, that's such a good buff. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's Massive. such a great at feature least it's for not level the 18. Level of feature anymore. Yeah. Okay. Oh, just wait uh, until we read the 20th level feature. Levi, read the next one. Epic Boon. Mm-hmm. The one they recommend for Bard is the Boon of Spell Recall. Mm. Increase your intelligence, wisdom, or charisma by one to a maximum of 30. Whenever you cast a spell with a level of one to four, roll a d4. And if the roll matches the spell level, you don't expend the spell slot. 25% chance for a free spell. Is that the same thing that they recommended for Wizard? I believe so. Probably. Huh? I mean, it's all right. They also rec- they actually give you two recommendations, actually, for Bard. They just don't put the other one on a bullet like what they did for say? Boon of Spell Recall. It, it tells you to get more skills, you freaking skill what monkey. Is, what is it? <laughs> but How we also it? recommend the Boon of Skill, which grants you proficiencies in all skills. <laughs> um, <laughs> and gives you yet another expertise. Or the Boon of Speed, which lets you disengage as a bonus action. Okay, that's just... Uh, that's just the that's mobile feed. The that's one. so funny. So um, funny. Oh my god! But like you all skills, you don't even tell me. Trades. Like again, <laughs> people are gonna be like, "Oh, you're being so unfair to Bard." Bards have been their favorite children for ten years, mm-hmm. and this only reinforces that. Mm-hmm. I'm tired of this, man. Well, that's too dang bad. All the other classes, oh, we recommend this grandpa. one very specific boon for you. This one, we recommend this one, but there's also two more that we think would be good for you. And one of them just gives you every skill, which you already have half proficiency in. Now you just get full proficiency. Plus expertise. You and already another thing of have expertise, expertise. Because you, you need that. You but, clearly need that. Frankly, honestly, I think that boon's pretty bad. Not even poorly balanced because you get it at level 19, which sure, maybe you're out there playing those level 20 campaigns where you're like level 20 and you're playing like weekly or monthly for years. Maybe that's your group, at which point balance doesn't even really matter anyway because you're level 20, right? Um, But otherwise, if you do just a normal 1 to 20 and your campaign ends not long after 20, if not at 20, this isn't going to matter for very long, the boon of skill. And what class is going to use it? The bard already has half proficiency. You don't understand, Pertusit. I need full proficiency in everything and more expertise. I would say it would be beneficial for rogue, because I feel like rogue has kind of been leaned toward the skill monkey, but still is a level 19 feature. That's not what they recommended for rogue. You've already got the stuff that you want, hopefully, if you're playing the rogue or the bard. If you're playing a class that gets expertise, you probably already put expertise in the skills that matter. Mm-hmm. You know, you make a good point, Pertusa. We'll yeah. give it to them at level three instead. Real? Mm-hmm. Hell they yeah. Would. They mm-hmm. would. Jack we'll of get... all trades and master of all trades. From level no, three, you no, get no, no. Guys, skills. that's just your subclass. You get no other class feature other than proficiency in all skills. No, 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 no. That would make them, that would make them weak, Jordan. That would make yeah. the bard bad. We can't have that. Oh, that no, would be I'm unbalanced. You've got a separate class and that's all you do oh. is just skill monkey. <laughs> True. Be skill. No, that's ranger. Be skill monkey. Yeah, no, that's ranger. No, instead of skill, instead of skills as the ranger, you can instead cast a spell. Instead of animal Mm -hmm. handling, simply cast, I don't know, speak with animals. (laughs) Speak with furniture. Yeah. Instead of perception, simply cast farsight. What's Mm -hmm. that? You can't get that spell. (laughs) Whoops. (laughs) Anyway. Uh Jordan, are you last? Are you the topping us off for words of creation? Uh maybe I can. Might as well. 
Go for it. All right. Your new level 20 feature really plays up the idea that the bard has mastered the magic of creation to the point where they have the power over life and death. It literally is God. I can't believe that they Why used... isn't this the wizard feature? Why? Yeah. I cannot believe that they the used feature? the word mastered to describe this because they're supposed to be the jack of all trades, master of none, and they still said mastered. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Words of Creation adds two of the most powerful ninth level spells to your prepared spell list. Mm -hmm. Power Word Kill and Power Word Heal. Boards can (laughs) manipulate this power so well that you can potentially use it on two targets at once. Words of Creation allows you to cast these ninth level spells on second creature within ten feet of the original target. So, you know what's really funny? Make sure you don't pick up those spells when you're taking your spells from the wizard spell list because you get them for free at level 20. And you know what's really funny? The sorcerer with the twin spell feature no longer is able to do this. Yeah. Because it doesn't do that anymore. What? Because they said it was too strong. That's probably why they took it away. (laughs) They said it was too strong. What is the point of playing literally any other class in the 2024 version of Dungeons & Dragons? Oh Why is God. this not the cleric feature? You what is broke the point? divine intervention. Why are clerics not the masters of life and death? Or the people that See, actually have mastered magic, the freaking wizards. This, this, this. For me, it breaks any arguments about things like the divine intervention and stuff like that, right? Because the argument for that was. Oh, it's too strong. It's they too had strong. to nerf it. It was too powerful of an ability. They needed to give it some more concrete wording. But then they do something like this. Oh, you can just cast power work and power work heal at the same time on two targets. I feel what like I'm level losing level my level mind. It would have been too strong for a level 20 cleric to have as it was written. Frankly, none of this even comes close to the Ranger's 20th level feature. They could not possibly fathom the idea of doing 1d10 damage with Hunter's with Hunter's Mark. I forgot that's what that did. I can't oh my breathe. god. Uh... <laughs> I'm having like not an existential crisis but something hate? close. Just Let like... me tell you how much <laughs> I hate. Flames on I mean, the side of what, my face. What this feature essentially does is it gives you two of probably the best spells in the game, and then also essentially gives you an additional ninth level spell slot to cast them with. Yeah, Yeah, I'm not particularly peeved about this feature. Uh, Let's see what the comments have to say. How do people like this change for the bar? Oh, they love it. Good. They love it. I've been reading that. No one would say that. Love the bard. Oh, man. (laughs) (laughs) In almost all of the comments are just complaining that the sorcerer article wasn't up at the time that this was posted. Apparently, yep. Everybody's wanting to know what about the sorcerer. Oh my god! Sorry to tell you, you don't get half a class, bestie. Most of the complaints also are just about how uh, things were name changed not even like mechanically this changed. reinforces oh, the idea that the barge stands are the people that would burn the building to the ground because yes. this insane buff for bards has the bard people in the comments being like what is wrong with this wording change why did yeah. they do this to bard yeah when it got like four buffs <laughs> <sighs> yep um... well <clears throat> Every day, a different beating for the ranger. That's a funny one. That's a good comment. <laughs> so true. Uh, so maybe real. maybe Dylan's actually just like coping really hard and that's he's, actually him. He's, he's learned helplessness. Man. <laughs> no, Dylan is sitting there. He he doesn't try anymore. He's a, he, he can't handle it. True. If he tried to resist it anymore, uh... he, would, he would have to, he'd be over. <laughs> They've done yeah. several unnecessary name changes in these updates. At That's least they didn't change should be Bardic Inspiration to like Bardic Enhancement oh or something. So I am seeing a couple people complaining about something with magical secrets. Yeah. They are just complaining that they don't get to cast Fine Steed now. 
through magical secrets until they get wish to cast it. Cry about it. Yeah. Literally. What are you Brother, talking about? You can cast fly. You can, <laughs> I, you can cast teleport. You can, you can cast dimension door. I, That's cool and all, but bard are for drama queens. Where's the sorcerer at, says Max Doom. True. Is this, is this why people don't know how broken bards are? Is because all the, like, hardcore oldies are like, why would I play a sissy bard? Because Maybe. they're so lame. <laughs> that might be it. Is that why nobody knows how strong they are? Maybe. Only the, the God's favorite idiot, or whatever Jordan said earlier, <laughs> yeah. is, is the only people that play bard, and they don't even know how strong it is. <laughs> no, because it's objectively the best class, so they think they're winning. Hey. We hope you enjoyed the episode you just listened to. If you really like our content, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on YouTube, and look for us on Spotify. If you'd like to see us continuing to do more fun projects in the future, consider supporting us on Patreon. You can find our page linked in the description above all of our other social media links. And finally, if you'd like to keep up with the zany shenanigans of our lives and check out some more skit-based content and things like that, check us out on Twitter and TikTok. Links in the description. And hey, thanks.